Hey folks, wanted to go over just a couple of things uh, based on some of the questions that we've been getting on some of the things we've been talking about the last couple of days. Uh, Jupiter, the alignment, the flat explosion and its relation to a potential solar micronova that we're going to have in our solar system in the coming years, and some new questions about the ranch as well. So there was some confusion about what I said this morning, that there was going to be the opposition alignment of Jupiter. So whether you call this a opposition or a conjunction, which mean the opposite things, there's a way you could be right. We have the Earth, the Sun, and Jupiter in a line. That is a geocentric conjunction of the Sun and Jupiter. It is the heliocentric opposition of Earth and Jupiter. And so there were some people who were confused about that this morning. Um, it's really just a matter of which perspective you're taking, geocentric or heliocentric. Um, neither one is actually wrong, provided that you understand which, which way you're talking about it. Of course, the most important thing is that throughout history we have seen um, this tends to increase solar activity uh, and tends to increase seismic activity, so that's going to be something that we're going to watch for uh, when that comes up in about five or six days. Uh, we covered the story a little bit ago about the flattest explosion ever seen and how it was baffling to scientists. I find it funny how all these astronomers are just continuously baffled after telling us how much they know and how certain they are about this and that in outer space. Um, but what's interesting is the explosion that was described, you know, an explosion the size of our solar system that was completely flat out from the equator of the star is exactly what this animation from NCAR and UCAR uh, shows. That would be uh, the cooperative between corporations and government uh, and the University of Colorado. Uh, they put this out a long time ago. This is not a coronal mass ejection which goes off from one point in the sun. This is a complete sun-wide equatorial explosion. While we have been talking about the solar micronova for quite some time, there is obviously no way to know at this point what is the form it will take? Will it be a complete spherical ejection? Will there be a polar ejection, an equatorial ejection? Uh, one thing I will say is um, the idea is that it could be a combination of both uh, really seem appealing. Um, it seems that uh, from the equatorial explosion standpoint, some of the leftover debris uh, could be what's populating the asteroid belt, what's populating the trans-Neptunian or Kuiper belt population. Um, and so really this is, this is one of those things where, once again, something baffling in astronomy uh, sort of helps bring us back to some of the modern day catastrophism topics that we cover so very often here on the channel. Of course, um, we have seen a couple of things recently that bring into focus a little bit more of this solar system shift we're going through right now. We recently saw the story about Jupiter's uh, great red spot continuing to shrink, but this morning's story about the alien radio signal uh, actually brings us back around to Jupiter for another reason. Of course, people who only read the headlines were like, alien radio signal? What is this? This is super cool. Um, but of course, this just meant a coherent repeating radio signal from the planet's magnetic fields. And magnetic fields of stars, magnetic fields of planets do produce these coherent repeating signals. So if we recall a previous uh, story about a change at Jupiter, Jupiter's radio signal is actually changing. And we know that its radio signal comes from electrons trapped in its magnetic fields. Uh, and so in order to get a radio signal change at Jupiter, you actually have to have Jupiter's magnetic field actually changing. We have seen indirect evidence of magnetic field shifts on Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Mars, Venus. Earth, Jupiter, and the Sun have actual measurable changes to the magnetic field, whether it's us actually being able to measure the strength like here on Earth, us able to infer the strength as we do on the sun, or us able to directly monitor the radio signals coming from the magnetic field, which was the case at Jupiter. Anyway, people have been uh, a lot more than expected surging uh, interest in Observer Ranch. 
Uh, of course, Observer Ranch is the major project we are putting on uh, just outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's going to be the future home of the observers. There are going to be two aspects to it. There is the public campground and education center. This is where all the observer events are going to be. This is where you will be able to constantly be around uh, other observers if you wanted to come visit uh, in your RV or grab a cabin, something like that. And of course, the second part of it is this is where we are going to make it, so to speak, after uh, everything that's coming eventually comes. Uh, it is in a pretty darn conservative area of Colorado. It is at perfect elevation. It has the dichotomy of being right next to the mountains and unused land in the mountains and access to the plains. Um, for those who've been paying attention the last couple of live streams, we struck an aquifer twice uh, with our well drilling, one that nobody thought was there, nobody but us anyway. Uh, turns out, as the case with climate and many other things we discuss here, it's a good thing I'm better at the science than the government scientists. Anyway, um, lots of people are interested in it. If you are interested in being part of the ranch, eventually we will get to more permanent inclusion based on individual skills and other things like that. Right now, we are still looking at the people who want to be a part of the actual business operation in addition to the after plans, so to speak. And so if that sounds like you, again, we are still looking for the accredited investor types, which is just an SEC definition. You don't have to actually apply to become anything. It just means, well, you can Google what accredited investor means in terms of the SEC. But if that is you, um, still got your chance to be a part of Observer Ranch. We are in phase two at this point uh, of this entire process, but down below the video, there's a link to ObserverRanch.com. Click it, look around and see, uh, and get some basic information. If you wanna know more, contact us through the website there. You'll find an easy way to send us an email through the ObserverRanch.com website, and you'll be able to do that. We've got a number of other links down there uh, below for you to check out. So just to reiterate, this Jupiter alignment that's coming up in a couple of days, whether you're talking about a heliocentric opposition of Earth and Jupiter or the geocentric conjunction of the Sun and Jupiter, neither one is wrong. They are both correct. The more important thing, of course, however, is that this is one of several alignments that tends to up the chances for solar activity and seismic activity here on Earth. In terms of the flattest explosion ever seen, baffling astronomers, not so baffling to observers who have been paying attention and especially those who know about the government computer model of that equatorial whole sun uh, explosion, which we have looked at before and said, huh, what, what are they actually modeling here? And last but not least, um, that story about the alien radio signals this morning, not quite as cool and exciting as many would have hoped based on the title of a lot of the uh, articles that are coming out about it. However, it does bring us back to the idea that these magnetic fields of planets, stars, they do emit this radio signal, and that reminds us of one of the key changes at Jupiter, among the many that there are, uh, but the key one there that is actually more direct evidence, a direct way to measure the changes in its magnetic field, just like we do at Earth, just like we do at the Sun, and that, of course, is the icing on the cake of all of the indirect evidence of magnetic fields changing throughout the solar system. Again, link down below to ObserverRanch.com if you want to get involved and several other links down there as well. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.